His children didn't know how their father made his living or why they so often moved. They didn't even know their father's name. He regretted neither his robberies nor the 17 murders that he laid claim to. And on September 5th, 1881, Jesse James was 34 years old. Can't believe I'm sitting with none other than Jesse James. Many's the night I stayed up, my eyes open, my mouth open, just reading about your escapades. They're all lies, you know. It is interesting the many ways you and I overlap. You're the youngest of three James boys, and I'm the youngest of five Ford boys. You have blue eyes, I have... Russell, you work too much. Gotta bring home the bacon to fatten you up. <laughs> What's she loaning you? 1500 I ain't got that kind of cash lying around to bail you out. <laughs> Bro, you want to get a drink later? Yeah. You want a liquid dinner? <laughs> you want another? No. no. Rodney was supposed to meet me here a half hour ago. Now, why the hell you want to fight? I just need the money. You're going to be a good boy and take a dive. I'm not going to have to teach you a lesson. across to Dottie's, then she comes home, and Amanda is gone. Who would take my little girl? She never hurt anybody. A four-year-old child is on the street. If we don't catch the abductor by day one, only about 10% are ever solved. This is day three. Do you know people in the neighborhood who don't talk to the police? One or two. We want to hire you to augment the investigation. I just want my daughter back. It's all right, we're going to find her. You have to promise me. Promise. You ever investigated an abduction before? I think Mr. McCready was hoping that we could help with the neighborhood aspect of this investigation. Half the guys you know are generous. And you know what the other half are? What? Cops. Don't hold it against me. Guess what? You could take one guy to an island with you and you knew you'd be safe because he was the best man. He was going to keep you happy. If it was between me and your father, who would you take? My daddy. I think you're wrong about that. Hello, this is Lee. What happened to my brother? So that's the Lee Chandler. I don't understand. Which part are you having trouble with? Well, I can't be his guardian. Well, your brother provided for your nephew's upkeep. I think the idea was that you would relocate. Relocate to where? Well, if you yeah. look, it was my impression that you'd spent a lot of time here. I swear. Yeah. I'm just a backup. Lee, nobody can appreciate what you've been through. And if you really feel you can't take this on, you know, that's your right. <laughs> 